next company is the Association for Enterprise Growth. Uh, AEG operates communities of professional service advisors and business owners. Advisor communities are ecosystems of members who integrate complementary skills to help mid-market business owners grow their companies, exit on their own terms, and build personal wealth. Please welcome Mark Haas, CEO of AEG. Thanks, Sean. Um, growing a business and growing personal wealth takes a lot of good decisions over time. The challenge is that uh, decisions are getting harder and harder to, to, to make. Um, because there's the option overload. There are just too many th things that a CEO or a business owner has to deal with. Now, these options are all good, but they're overwhelming. And so four out of five CEOs think that there's the complexity is the biggest problem they face. And if you go into the store, Colgate's trying to sell you 32 different kinds of toothpaste. So when we're overwhelmed, we make bad decisions. So what we're faced with here is if we can build trust communities, both advisors to help with growth of your company and uh, you know, peers for CEOs, uh, that would go a long way towards making uh, those decisions faster, better. And th with that, that trust, uh, lower the, the risk and cost of those decisions and increase the speed, speed and confidence. So these two groups, one is an advisor ecosystem, of about 50 individuals have carefully selected uh, advisors in 25 complementary disciplines. The peer group is for CEOs of $10 million or more companies, and in the mid-market, our average in D.C. is about $25 million. The market is large and, and largely unserved by any one, one person. Um, over a million companies regularly use those professional services. We're targeting about 300,000 uh, companies in the 20 to 5,000 employee size uh, in uh, cities, about 45 cities, that have $100 billion or more of GDP. Um, uh, the, are there com competitors? Of course there are. Uh, we, we have individuals of BNI, Accelerant, YPO, EO, Vistage, et cetera. But the things that make us different is we provide an integrated perspective that spans both business and uh, personal uh, our ecosystem of complementary disciplines helps uh, you know, accelerate the access to uh, trusted advisors. Uh, all of our members actually, because they're all in the growth business, help build, uh, they create value for AEG as a company. And finally, we have tech company economics. We're highly networked, technology enabled, and have high margin and, and recurring revenue. We have good traction. Uh, we started in DC. The advisor model's proven. We've launched the inner circle in DC. We'll expand to Baltimore next month. Uh, Brian Merritt of RSM is one of our members, is heading up that effort. And in Richmond, Tony Kaur of the Newport Group is heading, heading there and beyond. We've got uh, other sponsors, Atlantic Union Bank regionally, Bowstead Company nationally, and a large uh, wealth management company that, to be a uh, uh, announced shortly. Uh, milestones, we expect to be uh, you know, profitable uh, early first quarter of 2022. We'll be offering virtual memberships. Uh, COVID's been actually a blessing for us because it's allowed us to expand by making virtual businesses more, more acceptable. Um, our, we have experienced executives. Uh, my co-founder, John Yetman, and myself I have experience, a long experience working, building companies, as well as uh, dealing with uh, you know, CEOs and high net worth individuals. Um, our principal advisor and investor, Tian Wong, some of you may have heard of, uh, has been with us from the beginner, and he's uh, an evangelist, an ambassador, and an incredible uh, ad advisor. We do have a strong advisory council made up of uh, individual CEOs, uh, who have experience in you know, biotechnology, defense, uh, advertising, you know, analytics, uh, a range, range of areas. They've, been, uh, they've got their own businesses to run, but they spend a lot of time helping us. Uh, we do have a powerful business model. We have a 30% margin, over 80% recurring revenue. We will be expanding to those cities I mentioned before, um, you know, ramping up, probably doubling almost every year. And um, over, over the time period, we'll be in 45 cities and uh, with gross revenues of 30 million and a net income of 10 million. 
although this is just a core, but it's highly scalable. There's no reason in larger cities why we can't have multiple chapters and peer groups. Uh, it's, a, it's an effective platform for publishing research, events, and there's an opportunity for global expansion. I had some discussions with people in other countries. There are 275 cities of the same size or, or greater um, that we're targeting in, in the U.S. Uh, we're really excited about this. This is uh, It takes a lot of work, and we're, we're, we're basically uh, full in on this. Uh, we're going to use the funds to accelerate our expansion to other cities, uh, staffing up for growth, and building out marketing and collaboration infrastructure. Uh, we're seeking a million dollars, plan to exit in five years with a sale to a wealth management, private equity, insurance, or banking firm. And uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity for them to have access to tens of thousands of relationships to high net worth and uh, mid-market CEOs. Um, please let, let me know if you're interested in more in the, in the poll or in the breakout room. Thank you very much. Thank you.